The following is an Amanita Muscaria trip report, sent in by a subscriber. Hi, I'm Thomas, from France, and I really appreciate your channel. It's helped me a lot, and since I don't have any friends around me experimenting with plant or mush medicine, I have no one to talk to or hear from regarding this, so thank you. Here is my report, from Tuesday the 24th of October, 2023. Last Tuesday, I came back to my house in a small village after a long weekend in the city. I knew I forgot a jar outside before leaving. In it were a few Amanita caps, fresh in cold water. It was a leftover from a harvest that took ages to dry in multiple oven sessions. I didn't want to throw them away, so I decided to try a sun tea, because apparently UV would convert iobotanic acid into musamol. I've been experimenting with Amanitas since last year's harvest. They're abundant in the forest nearby. My goal was to trip, but I started experimenting with this really special mushroom in the safest way possible. And after 10 months, I had finished three big jars of dried caps without ever feeling anything, not even a buzz. But nevertheless, I had good nights and vivid dreams. So back to last Tuesday, the jar was still there. It's been cold, so I decided to consume it. I wasn't trusting that the UV would have done a good job, so I decided to boil the thing and reduce the volume. I let it simmer for about 40 minutes. Once the brew was in my cup, I did lemon juice and honey. About halfway down, I started shivering every time I was swallowing. I told myself, oh, this is a good sign. It's going to work this time. I drank a bit more and I started to wonder if it would be a better idea to stop there, but I finished it anyway. Quickly I felt an effect like being drunk. My stomach was empty for six hours, and at 8pm, 45 minutes after I ingested the tea, I went upstairs to meditate in my bed, seated against the wall, and blacked out. Did I fall asleep? The next thing I remember is slowly coming back to consciousness, but not quite in my ego in this world. I could think, ah, this is it, this is working this time. But I had no idea why I would think that. Brain palpitations, as I call it, were hitting hard. It was like blinking really quickly, but not quite the same. Then, a dissociating sensation submersed me. It reminded me of Salvia Divinorum. Mixed with that feeling that you get during a K-hole, this kind presence, and the feeling that you're home. I started having a vision of a parabolic object covered with thousands of mirrors which were flipping upside down, one after the other, at every palpitation. This was super weird, and I still had no idea of what was really happening. Then, I had the strange feeling that I was getting close to the truth of all things, once every palpitations would merge into one. During that phase of increasing speed, my consciousness came back, and I remembered that I took Amanita, but wasn't quite sure where I was right now. I felt the mattress, and it reassured me, and I put trust in the process of what was unfolding. It's like something close to an orgasm, and I felt it would explode or something, or merge into another dimension entirely. I was grabbing my sheets and tightening my jaw. I wanted to make it, whatever it was. But suddenly, an urge to vomit came over me. I opened my eyes and saw the window lit up by the moon. I stood up, almost fell, and then purged twice outside. The garden itself seemed 30 meters down. The imbalance I was feeling was crazy. I could feel my body falling to the back left. I was off that brainstorm, and once I figured how to balance out, I wanted to go downstairs to the bathroom. The staircase is pretty steep, so I was really careful. But once I was at the bottom, I realised I couldn't feel my body moving, even during really fast movements. No muscle pain whatsoever. The time distortion was really something to behold. I could go full Flash Gordon mode, and it actually made me laugh. 
but I thought about what I just went through, and I decided to go back to my bed to meditate, curious on what I would feel next. I realised upon grabbing my phone that it was now 3am, and this was a shocking revelation. Did all the other tries of Amanita peak when I was asleep? And this one woke me up because I needed to puke, I wondered. I couldn't believe how messed up I was seven and a half hours in. I tried to unlock my phone without success, and during that, I started completely dissociating from my body. My awareness itself seemed to emanate from above my left shoulder, and I couldn't feel my body whatsoever, but I could intervene at any time I wanted. It was quite pleasant being 50% out of my body and 50% in. I sat cross-legged with my back against the wall and started breathing deeply. Nothing noticeable in terms of vision. I was still half dissociated. But then, my arms started moving by themselves or by some kind of force that I could feel in my hands. I decided to trust it. And then, time slowed down a lot. I was amazed by this. My arms were moving up and down in slow motion, completely out of my control. Suddenly, it's like inviting me up to some kind of a dance. I let myself go without intervening, thinking it got to heal my neck and shoulder pain. I mean, why not? I was shaking and moving really fast, as the flow of time suddenly came back to normal. I started chanting and hyperventilating. Again, I could have stopped it at any time, but I was really curious to experience it. I had no idea what I was saying. It was like a shaman trance and ended with banging my head against the mattress, still hyperventilating. Then, it all stopped on empty lungs. I held my breath and told myself, Why is it making me do a Wim Hof? Or is it me? Or it? As I was just dissociated before, it could have been a spirit. Anyway, after a few breath holds, I felt really tired and could feel my body falling asleep, but my awareness itself was slowly drifting to the top right of my sight. I thought I was about to be conscious in the unconscious. The drift out was really slow, and it felt like a tutorial or something, but any time I swallowed my saliva, it was taking me right back into my body. I had multiple tries, and I could hear voices teaching me the whole time. Unfortunately, I fell asleep at some point. The dreams I had after this were crazy real and coloured, and utterly insane in what was happening in them. I'm not ready to put that into words right now. I woke up pretty alright, although a bit worried about those six or seven hours of blackout, and I didn't tell you that I pissed my bed during this whole time. All in all, this was a very intense experience, and I do wish someone was around for it, but at the same time I sort of don't, because I would have alarmed anyone during the trance, dance and chanting stage. It's really important to brew tea from as many dried caps as you can, as the concentration of the compounds varies quite a lot. It really was a mistake for me to brew seven fresh caps. I do not recommend this whatsoever. Be safe, out and in there. Totalito.